Okay, so this is about May, and you've got cocoons that haven't opened up yet. One of the questions would be why? Okay, it could be your mason bee has just run out of energy and she needs to be rescued. So there's a quick video we have, um, not this one, where you cut open cocoons. Or uh, it could be that you've got monodontomeris. Mono is a parasitic wasp inside the cocoons. And you don't really want to cut these things open? Well, here's a way how to candle cocoons. So I'm taking just a modern, um, uh, very bright light, LED light, okay? Got this on. I've cut a little piece of cardboard that just has um, a hole that's about cocoon size. Um, I'm trying to shield as much light as I can so it's just a ray of light coming out. I'm now gonna take a cocoon, okay? And as I put this cocoon on there, I th this is a really thin cocoon. You can kind of see through there's something in there. I think it's actually more of a larva. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think this is viable, but you can see through the cocoon. We're gonna try another one here. This is actually an empty cocoon. There had been mono, there's a little hole on the end, so we knew mono had come out of here. Um, but actually when I just crush this up, there's nothing in there at all, okay? This one has a live bee in it. And it's very tough to see, but it, at least I can see this. There's a silhouette of a bee and on um, spin this thing around. Thanks, Damaris. Yep. On this side, you can see the under, you know, the bee's kind of shaped like this inside there and the underside is where the legs are. It's a solid piece. I can see the legs, actually. Good. Yeah. What you, if you had mono inside here, there's 15 or so little white larvae and at least little parasitic wasps would be inside here. You would see those bodies inside this cocoon. And at that point, I would um, smush that cocoon and throw it away, okay? The other answer at this point, so if you don't wanna cut these things up and you don't wanna candle, then um, if the bee hasn't emerged, just throw them away because it's either the bee isn't healthy enough or it's full of mono. Thanks.